The girl in the following video was said to be practicing for her dance lessons, which she recorded regularly. After moving into their new home, they always felt like they were being watched. This was the first time that she actually captured something strange on camera. Some are sure that we can see a translucent shadow figure here. Could that be so? Perhaps the new home is haunted after all. And now a big thank you to our today's video sponsor, Monster Legends. Monster Legends is an exciting free-to-play mobile game that you can download on all devices. You can collect over 1000 monsters with different elements and rarities and build your own monster empire. Plus new monsters are getting released on a weekly basis. Myself, I'm a huge fan of the monster breeding feature, allowing me to come up with completely new species that I can then feed to make them even stronger. Hatch your new baby monsters, feed them to evolve, level them up and boost their powers with runes, relics and talents. Create your own teams and challenge other monster masters in battles, where you can conquer trophies, win rewards and reach the top leagues. And to make the spooky season even better, Monster Legends teamed up with The Walking Dead to celebrate the iconic show's return, creating six new monsters inspired by the heroes Rick, Daryl, Michonne, Negan, Carol and Maggie. Don't miss this unique opportunity to collect the Walking Dead monsters with amazing abilities, making them more powerful than any other monsters. To start collecting the Walking Dead monsters, download the game now using my link in the description or the QR code. And only for a limited time you will get a special free starter pack of 100,000 gold, 20,000 food, 3 gems and the Mothman monster. Once again, thanks to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Make sure to download the game now and to secure the amazing Walking Dead monsters. Now, could this be a glimpse of the spirit that was terrorizing this home? It certainly was no living person at the time, that's for sure. There's a lot of amazing investigations on the Foreman Brothers channel. Make sure to give them a visit. So if you followed me from the beginning, back when I lived in the house, you would remember that I've been followed by a man in a top hat. You could totally see a face in here, I swear, looking at me. Um, but ignore all the stuff in the hallway, I just moved in yesterday, so it's been a hot mess unpacking. <laughs> the next series of videos were shared by I'm Into You. The young woman states that she moved into an old house, and her bedroom in particular seems to feel a little bit off, based on her own statements, that is. Inexplicable noises, weird smells, and things that can be seen at night that are just frightening. After a few weeks living that nightmare, she has moved into a camper next door because she just couldn't sleep in the house anymore. At that time, she was asking for help from some paranormal experts. Is there somebody here? You guys heard that right? Hello, is there somebody here? Hello? Can you make a noise? So this is the one with a man. I don't know if you can see right there is his top hat. Um, you can see like his collar, uh, it's super f***ing scary to me. For me, there's no denying that there is a man sitting there watching me in bed, wearing a top hat with giant ears, and it looks scary. And last one, this is a screenshot taken in my bedroom. I see the man with the hat staring directly into the camera at me. She certainly believes that a man in a top hat is haunting her house and likes to stalk her in her bedroom, unsettling. Her commenters believe that something paranormal is going on here. And when looking a bit closer into the matter, Indy states that even before moving into this new house, she had quite a few strange paranormal experiences during her entire life. It all started when she was a little kid, 
Okay, I'm gonna compile all the photos that I think of, I have of this same woman from my childhood photo. This is a screenshot from one of my orb videos and then the lighting was enhanced. Uh, looks like a girl with her arm on the table watching me in my bed. I definitely noticed the strands of hair across her forehead. And sorry, this is so grainy, but this is the first picture just really zoomed in of a printed out photo of me as a child, but I see the black hair across her face, always looking through that hair. Now, while all of these captures could be explained off as something else, of course, what followed in the next few days got more and more skeptics to believe that maybe there actually was a chance that Indy was being watched by something. Again, from one of my lives, like two days ago, um, during the live, so many people kept saying that there were faces in the window behind me, but I honestly thought that people were just trying to scare me until I received this screenshot today and let me zoom in a little bit for you and you'll see what i'm talking about i can clearly see a face peeking over the ledge before going live on her profile that night she also noticed something strange appearing straight across from her room some say it looks like a face and after doing her live stream that night, her viewers saw something behind her that many believe to be an actual shadow figure. Is that what we are seeing here? Something negative that had attached itself to her. A pretty creepy thought, to be honest. Next is one of the most terrifying cases that had been documented in the past few years. These are the recordings of Veronica Shannon, a single mother that was living in a pretty haunted apartment. She described this incident as pretty strange and thought at first that somebody was playing a prank on her, which is why she decided to get video cameras in her apartment. She ended up seeing some very strange things in the recorded footage. A skeptic at first, Veronica moved a few months after seeing all these strange things at her place. One night, a friend was just about to walk into her apartment, where nobody was in the living room at the time. However, something was captured. In the spirit of a former owner, perhaps. Of course, Veronica had no idea. She didn't believe this to be the spirit of a deceased relative, though. This certainly does look like the spirit of an elderly lady, wouldn't you say? Unfortunately, things got a bit more scary shortly after when the door to the kid's bedroom seemed to lock up on its own. Shortly after this recording, Veronica finally found herself a new home for her family. The following was a submission and the message reads that this was captured by a girl who also was supposedly living in a haunted apartment. She heard a lot of unsettling noises and one night saw the following standing in front of her bed. It does look like a creepy person was standing there, but what exactly it was is really hard to say. Some believe it to be an old man, but who can say for sure? What is your opinion? The following is another pretty unsettling video, captured by a young couple from Michigan. They also seem to have gotten a visit from something really creepy. One night, they saw something frightening appear right in front of their little daughter's crib. 
and they were sure that it was nothing positive. It scares us that it could do something else. I mean, there was even an, a morning that I woke up and I had felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. Something clearly was walking in front of the crib that night, scaring the young family. They stated that the most important thing for them was to get rid of whatever was creeping out their little daughter. I wonder if they were able to. This video was recorded by two friends who were visiting a pretty notorious house. This case was all over the news at the time. A young woman was found that unfortunately had lost her life there. She was kept in the basement by the owner. Horrifying things went down there at the time. And now this house stands abandoned. Keep that in mind. However, somehow it seemed that something still remained there. This is a this is yeah. Look at the right side window. Is something moving the curtains perhaps? It almost looks like it. <laughs> what was the basement? Like, where did and let's look at the window again one more time. It almost appears as if something is standing on the other side of it for a second. How mysterious. Or was it just a reflection from the outside? This is the basement where the little girls torture. Dude, come here. As you can see, this is what the basement looked like. That's fucked. Oh, hell no, this is serious too. Dude, I ain't fucked. Dude, I ain't fucked. There's a fish of the stairs. Have you got a fish of the stairs? Have you got a fish of could it be that the girl's spirit could still be stuck to this house? Some people believe that this is the case, unfortunately. But let's hope that it's not true. The following was found in the paranormal reddit section, uploaded by Hen Brolo. The user tells us, This stems from my friend's home and they have a security camera in their living room. No one was home at that time. They always felt that something was in there, even before he moved in. Something that tampered with the furniture, especially at night. Let's take a look at the door. Something is seemingly touching the door on the bottom and slowly closing it. But how is that possible? Especially since nobody was home. Some commenters think that it looks like a super thin arm is closing the door. Could that be so? Does this mean that something otherworldly was responsible for this? I mean, it does not look like a human arm, does it? And guys, don't miss the opportunity to download Monster Legends today to receive the amazing and free starter pack. You'll find all the links in the video's description.